Hi, this is Cami with Classics and Cats and I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. So I decided I would do kind of a vlog style video and visit some different little free library boxes um, in our area. So, um, so we're at the first stop and at first I couldn't find it. So I was kind of a little worried that this was not gonna go well because the very first address that popped up took us to a park and it's just wide open and I'm not seeing a library box anywhere and then I found it I spotted it across the way so we're gonna go take a look but I just thought it would be fun to kind of do a little tour of um, different little free library book boxes and just kind of give people an idea of like what might be out there what kind of books I'm not planning on taking anything home I just kind of want to do a tour of what kind of things we might find there and make people feel inspired to find the ones in their community and you know maybe go take a look and see what they can find um, so yeah let's let's take a look The first stop and it looked like they had several Nora Roberts books and uh, Fern Michaels and a couple other people that I didn't recognize um, so yeah so it was, it was kind of cool um, a first stop and interesting so this one's cool if you noticed it was all the little books were inside an old newspaper um, dispenser and apparently this little library was donated from the um, Daily News in this town so their local newspaper donated that little library for people to continue to use their old newspaper dispense box so I thought that was really cool very sweet unique idea so yeah so that was first stop so let's see what's at the next one all right we're at stop number two this one appears to be it's in the downtown area and it appears to be in another one of the newspaper boxes. So let's see what they have.
Okay, we're at our next stop. Um, this one appears to be at another park um, with their pool and water slides and all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll take a peek at that too while we check out the books. So this one had a lot of little tiny chapter kids books and um, a couple nonfiction, which is cool and James Patterson it just had quite an assortment which I really liked and there was also a really neat little um, book inside where people could leave notes for each other so yeah I think that's so cool it's so inspiring someone wrote some really beautiful messages in there and we're about to leave another Okay, so this one was in a neighborhood, so it was a little awkward. I feel weird being in somebody's front yard and there's all kids outside playing, so it's a little awkward. But um, I found a book that I wasn't planning on getting any books, but I saw one that my mom might like. She really likes Demi McComber books, so I went ahead and grabbed this one for her um, to see if she hasn't read this one yet. So I will pass that along to her. Okay, we're at our last stop. This one is also in a residential area in a neighborhood. And I feel super uncomfortable, but I'm doing it for you guys, so appreciate. <laughs> so here we go.
Okay, so overall I would call this a successful little library book tour. It was a lot of fun. It's crazy how many there were within a drivable distance to where I live, so I definitely want to <laughs> check out more of these, um, and I encourage you all to go online and look and see what you can find. So they have a website, I think it's called um, littlefreelibrary.org, and so you can see a map of all the ones that are registered. So there may be more in your area than just those, but it'll show the ones that have registered through that website. So yeah, good luck, uh, happy hunting. I hope you find something. So take care, be well, and remember, always be kind to yourself as well as others, and always be kind to cats. Bye. Bye.